what up? Hey, you doing YouTube? Silver Joker here. Today is Saturday, February 25th. Uh, last check spot price was 18.36. It's up. Um, I'm going to share with you something that might surprise some of you. It did surprise me. But first, let's get to this. At the end of the month, you guys know that I tried to buy 10 ounces of silver. Increase my stack by 10 ounces. Uh, eight ounces of generic, two ounces of premium. I was able to increase that at the end of this month um, to 13 ounces. I got five ounces. I got 10 ounces of um, generic and two ounces of premium, and I added another ounce of generic, which I'll share with you. So let's get right to it. I got uh, five of these for my generics. Five of these. Uh, Buffaloes. I'm not sure exactly who makes these. I like that. Uh, that kind of um, that kind of poker chip look that's got there to it. And they stack on top of each other very nicely. Anyway, I got um, five of them. Very nice rounds. I like that kind of proof look that they have there. And I got five more of these uh, Airmark. I really like these. I like that very nice silver tone on there. I mean, they look so silver. I mean, everything that a silver lover like me loves to see in a round. Uh, I'll try to hold still here. Uh, many of you guys have seen this. I don't want to keep this too long, but anyway, there's that very American uh, round with the uh, Liberty on there, the Eagle, and then, then the Liberty Bell on the back. You can't go wrong with that round right there. Plus, it's really fat. feels real good in your hands. And then I got another one of these. Um, Elemental. I really like the detail in the American Indian there. Very nice. I think I'm just going to go ahead and get a, um, a tube of these. Um, I, I got to have them. So there's that. All right. And then my um, two premium rounds, which are going to be these um, American Eagles. For coins. American Eagle is definitely my favorite coin. Um, it just is, and not because of the way it looks, although I really do like the way it looks. You know, I just like the fact that it's, it's just a truly American coin, man. I mean, I just love everything American. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like other, other coins from other countries as well. I really do, but, you know, that American Eagle just is just awesome. Um, and uh, so we'll just go through the tally. Um, this is the first week of the month. About four of these Airmark rounds. I mean, yeah, rounds. And then this panda, which will be disappearing into the uh, the abyss of the safe. And then I got a. Uh, this was the second week. And there's that first um, elemental buffalo that I bought along with the Statue of Liberty, which you can't see right there. You guys have seen it. And then uh, third week, the week before this last week, I got these four buffalo rounds here um, with uh, that was my last week um, premium. And then, you know, I showed you guys this one too. This is like the middle week. This is like the second weekend. Um, premium round. Premium coin, sorry. All right, so that brings my total for the month of February to 29 ounces. Um, so I was able to increase, I was able to increase my, um, my silver um, ounces by uh, shoot, by four ounces, uh, so that's 29 ounces for the month. 
So, um, you know, my, my goal is 25 ounces at the end of the month, um, and I was able to increase that goal somewhat. Um, so, you know, just uh, I'm ahead five ounces now for the, um, for the two months. And, you know, if we keep this up, maybe I'll reach my goal uh, before a year. But anyway, um, I got a feeling Silver's going to do some dramatic things here pretty soon. So um, I'm glad I'm giving myself a little bit of a buffer because I got a feeling Silver's going to take off and then I'm going to have to adjust my budget accordingly. Uh, so I had a, I had a, a viewer uh, comment. He asked me, why do I buy so much generic when I can just use some of that money that I use to buy generic and just buy a little more premium? But I'm going to tell you something. When you asked me that, uh, when you left that comment and asked that question, I did, I, I did some thinking about that because I was wondering, you know, you got a point there. Why not? And, you know, and I went back and did uh, some research and some history of what spot price was and I surprised myself. That was very surprising. I'm gonna share this with you guys. I'm gonna to try to make this as quick as I can. Okay, look at this right here. Uh, this was my spending from since January 7th, which is when I started um, my, um, my goal, when I started uh, the step towards my goal. Um, now spot price, well, let me first, I have to tell you that where I buy silver, I buy silver from two local coin stores here. Um, and they both charge a buck fifty over spot, and they buy uh, silverback point nine 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 fine silverback at spot price. That's all day every day. That's what they do. Um, I've seen people while I've been there. I've seen people bring in the radius, the spot milk spotted up, scratched up, the most bizarre silver conditions you've ever seen. And he puts it on his XRF. If it passes the test, he gives them spot price for it. Uh, so you know. He's been in business for a long time, so he knows what he's doing. So he buys it back at spot price, sells it for a uh, buck fifty over spot. So on the seventh, uh, spot price is at sixteen forty-seven. So that it was at sixteen forty-seven. So buck fifty over spot means I paid nineteen. I mean seventeen ninety-seven per ounce. On the fourteenth, I paid eighteen thirty. On the twenty-first, I first I paid eighteen fifty-seven. On the 28th, I paid 1860. That gave me average. Okay, so my average was 1836 per ounce for the month of January. Uh, February spot price started out February on the 7th is when I started buying it. Uh, it was 1766. Uh, so that gave me 1916 per ounce. 1943 per ounce on the 11th. 18th was 1947. And on the 25th, it was 1986, and that average per ounce price was 1948 uh, for the month of February this past month. Now, two things are very clear right away. First thing is, spot prices went up and up every week since the beginning of January. That, more than anything else, encouraged and motivated the hell out of me. I was not aware of that. That is a beautiful thing there, and it's and that trend looks like it's going to continue. And I think it's going to be a lot more dramatic. But the second thing is, if you look at that, silver doesn't have to do all that much as far as spot price goes for you to be looking good on your investment. Because it, it, if look what I spent for January. Silver spot price right now is 1836 I, That's what I spent per ounce in January. That's encouraging. And silver, if it keeps going, doing what it's doing, then I'm on par for in the end of March to have made money in February. Now, I am not saying that I'm gonna go and sell any silver, absolutely not. I have no plans whatsoever to sell any of that silver. And I also know that it's based on whatever um, you're charged for spot price. So, you know, some people are charged a little more for spot price, some people are charged a lot less. It depends on where you are and where you buy it from. But that right there should motivate you. Seeing that silver has, has gone up and up and up and uh, you don't have to spend a whole lot of money to actually make a little money on silver because silver doesn't have to do, it doesn't have to have these real dramatic jumps for you to make money. Silver to me is fun. I love stacking silver. I like the search. I like looking for it. I like looking for deals. I like all that, but silver is a long-term investment. You know, it's, it was said to me a long time ago that um, 
you know, an old wise dog can make an awesome living off of what the young, fast, uh, not so um, thoughtful young dogs overlook, you know, on their bid to be the first to cross the finish line. You know, if you're just looking for that payoff, then maybe, you know, silver's not really the thing for you. Uh, the payoff is going to come down the road. And little jumps like that, pennies here, pennies there, that's so encouraging for people who truly stack silver. But, you know, I see, I just see this. My my attitude is, or my thinking is, that when I'm ready to retire, I expect silver to be somewhere around 50 to $75 an ounce. Now, it could be a lot more than that, or maybe a lot less than that. But whatever the case may be, this is going to be worth something. It's going to be worth more than what the dollars would be putting it in the bank. Now, you need to have dollars in the bank, don't get me wrong. But, you know, if you look at the way silver price was and you and you see the history and where it went, that should motivate you to stack silver. It feels like I'm rambling on, so I'll go ahead and cut this short. I just want to share this with you. I picked these up, too, uh, when I was in there yesterday or today. Uh, I think it was today. What is it? Yeah, I was in there today. Um, and I saw that I don't really have, I haven't really been buying as much generic or as much constitution as I have been. So I went and picked these up. I just want to share these with you. You know, you guys have seen all these, these Liberty halves. I bought $3 worth. Um, and depending on where you buy it from, you can probably get a pretty good price on um, constitution silver. If you buy it by the dollar, by the, the uh, face value. Okay, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate that. I hope I didn't ramble on too much and turn too many people off. But, uh, you know, I hope that was uh, motivating to see where spot price was and where it's going and how much, you know, you can make if you, um, you know, if you really stick to it and, you know, and buy it and put it away and just hold on to it, man. That's what we want to do. Anyway, I'm going off again. Anyway, thank you for watching. Appreciate it. Keep stacking. Peace. Right, I'm glad you guys decided to stick around. Um, this is one of the things that I got in the Silver Joker Vault uh, quote, Silver Joker Vault. Um, so I uh, figured I'd bring it out and let you guys see it since you decided to stick around and give me a few more minutes of your time. This is uh, something that I cannot pronounce, so I'll just let you see the uh, CFA here. Um, but it's a Fortuna, whatever you want to say about that. Those are the specifications there. Um, and the mintage is pretty low, 2,500 pieces, uh, six ounces, 0.99 fine silver. And it is, according to the mint, the world's first uh, three-sided coin. Yes, it's considered a coin. Um, it's got some really shiny surfaces and I've tried to uh, um, photograph this thing in a lot of different ways and none of it really works so it's best for me just to take it out and then sit it down and let you get a look at it that way and then it's easier to focus and that's the side of it so we got the front with what you've seen there and this is the side of it very nice detail in this in this coin um it really did a good job but like i said it uh it costs a little bit of money, and um, you know, if I find the right buyer, I can probably make some. But you know, this is one of them things that I don't plan selling. Okay, and this is the um, the uh, reverse. As you can see, it's got some really nice detail in there. There you have it. Um, it's another thing that's in the Silver Joker Vault. Uh, I got a couple more things that I want to bring out uh, over my video thing. I'm probably not going to have one of these on every single one, you know, the end of every single one of my videos. But um, you know, you never know. You might stick around. You might catch something else if you're really interested in it, or it could be boring as hell. Who knows? <laughs> but uh, you know, if you like it, stick around. If not, you know what I mean. Just um, you know, just uh, do your thing. Anyway, thanks for watching. Peace.